Hello, this is Tony Heller from RealClimateScience.com. California air quality regulators on Thursday voted to require all new space and water heaters sold in the state by 2030 have no emissions, a step toward phasing out the use of natural gas for heating homes and businesses. The provision was adopted by the California Air Resources Board at a public meeting as part of a larger plan to reduce smog. So apparently the state government of California believes that the burning of natural gas produces smog. Let's take a look at the actual chemistry of burning natural gas, which is also called methane. Methane combines with oxygen to produce carbon dioxide and water. Most people who completed primary school know that carbon dioxide and water form the basis of all life on Earth. The growth of green plants depends on chlorophyll in the plant's leaves, sunlight, carbon dioxide, and water. Very few intelligent people believe that the growth of green plants depends on smog. The burning of natural gas produces carbon dioxide and water. Let's take a look at what else produces those two gases. This is from a middle school science class. Breathing is often referred to as respiration. When you breathe, you take oxygen into your lungs as you inhale, and you release carbon dioxide and water vapor as you exhale. Those are the same substances produced from the burning of natural gas. So apparently the state of California believes that human breathing is a form of smog. This is Moss Landing, which was California's largest fossil fuel-powered source of electricity. As you can see, it produced no emissions and no smog, just the essential gases of carbon dioxide and water, which all plants depend on for their survival. The state of California is terrified by carbon dioxide, so they shut this plant down and replaced it with the world's largest grid storage project based on lithium batteries. The Monterey County Weekly believed that that power plant was the source of large-scale pollution, even though they never saw any actual pollution coming out of its stacks. They replaced it with lithium batteries, which caught on fire last week and produced some actual large-scale pollution. Because of the pollution coming from these burning lithium batteries, the state had to shut down California's iconic Highway 1. Residents of Moss Landing were locked down and they were very correctly worried about their safety from breathing the toxic fumes. So the state of California shut down a clean, reliable power plant with an unreliable, toxic battery installation. People have been cooking with natural gas for over a century because it's low cost, it works very well, and it produces no pollution. Let's take a look at what billionaires use to do their cooking. The 8 Most Expensive Stoves in the World Number 8 is powered by natural gas and costs $11,000. Number 7 is natural gas powered and costs $12,000. Number 6 is natural gas and costs $16,000. Number 5 is also natural gas and costs $17,000. Number 4 is natural gas and costs $19,000. Number 3 is natural gas and costs $22,000. Number 2 is natural gas and costs $30,000. And this gas-powered stove is number 1. You can buy a used one on eBay for only $42,000. Billionaires have really nice natural gas-powered stoves, but women in Africa aren't so lucky. They don't have access to natural gas, so they have to cook with wood or dung, which causes millions of premature deaths among women in third world countries every year. Last week, Joe Biden's climate advisor, John Kerry, was in Africa, and he told them not to use natural gas. Apparently, natural gas is only for his billionaire friends. California not only shut down their natural gas power plants, but they're also shutting down their nuclear power plants as well. As a result of these foolish decisions by government, California doesn't have enough electricity, and they're trying to force everybody to use electric vehicles, electric heat, and electric cooking. Just a few days after the state told residents of California that they had to buy electric vehicles, the state told them not to charge the electric vehicles because the state did not have enough electricity. The idiocy of the California government seems to be beyond comprehension. It isn't clear whether this is due to incompetence or if this is their plan. 
It appears that California voters are going to have to learn the hard way. Elections have consequences and voting for ridiculous people is not a smart strategy. Toto's been pulling back the curtain on this insanity for the past 14 years. You can visit him, Kyrie Caesar, Toki and Upla on the web at realclimatescience.com.